Hey everybody, it's Kuja here, and today I have a video that I am not entirely looking forward to making, just because it puts Paragon and Epic Games in a somewhat negative light. I just want to clarify that I do really like Epic Games, I think we're in, they're one of the better big gaming companies, and I do really like Paragon. If you haven't tried it out yet, it's a really fun game. Um, don't be dissuaded by what I'm about to say, it's, 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 it's a very fun game. So, unfortunately, I dealt with something yesterday, and the Epic response today made me really realize how incompetent Epic Games is at dealing with hackers in Paragon. Um, first I'll show you guys the clip I'm in referencing during uh, all this. So here I am, team just killed Orb Prime, retreating, and finding a nice place to back. I'm like, ooh, that harvester looks looks like a tasty place to back. Get some, get some nice crispies as I back. And before I finish my back animation, bam, I get sniped by the enemy Murdoch. Nothing too suspicious alone from that, you know, maybe it, it was warded by the enemy team. You know, that, that happens a lot, that's what I was thinking. I was like, damn, I backed on a ward. I'll have to watch that in the replay to see, you know, what, what ward path I missed. But as I watched the replay, I realized, wait a second, there is absolutely no blue vision, blue team vision, anywhere on this side of the map. The closest one is Grux, because Harvesters don't grant vision anymore. So the closest vision they could have had was Grux. Maybe there's a ward that perhaps died, you know, that I missed, and, and, and saw me as I was running by. But then I realized... Oh, it's, it's slowing down. Looking around, there's still no wards. It's about 30 seconds from the time of the snipe. Still no wards, still no wards. I mean, they, well, they, they couldn't have any wards, because there's no one there, because they don't have vision. So there's absolutely no way he could have seen me backing there. But this is a common place to back, right? It's a harvester. Maybe you just got a lucky snipe. Good timing. Knew the common place to back. That's possible. All right. I'm 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 always I always want to be on the conservative side because you know I I think calling out hacks just randomly and like oh I got a lucky snipe. He must be hacking. That's that's, that's bullshit. You probably just got a lucky snipe. Until I watched it from his perspective, <laughs> and this guy's hacking. Um, so this is a good. Uh, 30 seconds before the snipe, I'm over here. He's looking at me. Looks, sees that I'm low health. Looking at me through the wall. Looking at all of us. He goes out on a knee trying to snipe me, but he realizes, oh wait, he's moving. And because I'm a hacker and don't actually know how to play the game, I can't hit a moving target. Um, so he's doing that. Oh, he finally fucking stopped moving. Let's rewatch that again. This time at normal speed. This is what it looks like at normal speed. He's like, oh, super low health. Can I get a snipe? Oh wait, no, he's moving. Can I get a snipe? No, he's moving. Still moving. By the way, there's absolutely no fucking way you can get vision over here. They have absolutely no vision. He waits for me to start my back animation. He's like, oh, oh, no, I haven't started it yet. He hasn't started it yet. Oh, now he started it. Now I can fucking snipe him, right? So if that's not if that's not wall hacks, I don't fucking know what is, all right? Um, so that alone isn't what got me worried about Paragon and hacking in Paragon. That alone is, like, confirming that there are hackers in Paragon. A lot of people say there isn't. There definitely is. I, but most people know that. Um, unfortunately, there is no anti-cheat software in Paragon, so of course there's going to be hackers. Um, but, perhaps the most scary part of this was the player report response team on Epic Games site. Here's the email I sent to them. Hello, I was playing Paragon today and saw an instance of blatant wall hacking. Here's the replay. Here it is. Um, it'll also be in the description if you guys want to check that replay out. Their enemy Murdoch follows me through the jungle despite not having vision on me for 30 seconds prior to the snipe. He starts following me at 2820 and continually goes on one knee to ult me. He cancels once he realizes I'm still running, and he continually does that. At around 2850, once I start my back animation, he fires his ult at me with perfect timing and precision despite not having vision on anywhere on that side of the map that I am on for 30 seconds prior to the snipe. So I thought it was a pretty descriptive email. I, I just wanted to you know, boil it down to what they need to know and get it to the exact 30 seconds that they need to see. So, you know, I, I don't want to waste their time. You know, I, I just want them to show show them that, hey, this guy's a hacker guy, I should probably, probably ban him. This is their response. Hello, Danny. Thanks for contacting Epic Games Player Support. I understand you were killed through a wall by a player. I have reviewed this case, and I see that player was playing as Murdoch, and they used his ultimate ability. Murdoch's ultimate ability is able to get a player across the map and is working as intended. They think wall hacks is the ability to shoot through walls. They don't realize wall hacks is the ability to see through walls. What? Like, how do you work in player support? Like, that, like your job is to deal with hacking reports and not know what wall hacks is. Oh, my God. All right. Um, 
so that that just that made me lose all faith in uh, the Paragon or Ep Epic Games ability to deal with hackers in Paragon. Their workers, the, their section of Epic Games responsible for player support dealing with hackers doesn't know what wall hacks are. That's the second most common hacks in any game. First one being aimbot, second one being wall hacks. And they don't know that. They, they, they think the wall hacking is shooting through a wall. Obviously Murdoch, Murdoch's ultimate ability hits through walls. That's not the point. That's not what wall hacks are. Title was blatant wall hacks. Blatant wall hacking, alright? So, that just really sucks. The, the, this, this, this is bad. This, this is like, if you're part of the Paragon community, this is bad. Because this is the only thing we have. This is the only way we can deal with hackers right now. And it's shit, and it is even more shit because it doesn't even work. Alright? There is no anti-cheat software in this game for aimbotting and for wall hacking. There's zero. Zip. Nada. They should have, like, uh, in my opinion, they, like, you can argue it's an early access game, but it's been, comp it's been a competitive early access game for like six months now. They should have some type of anti-cheat software. The only anti-cheat, the only way we can catch hackers in this game is this replay system. This is the replay system we have. Not something like CSGO Overwatch or any other competitive game when, and like where you can actually see the player's screen, see if they're snapping on, see if they're actually following people with their reticule through walls. We have this shitty third-person replay. I'm not saying the replay is shitty. Like, like obviously, I really like this replay system. I think it's a great replay system for cinematics and just like overviewing of a game. But in terms of actual player improvement and catching hackers, you want to be able to see their screen in an Overwatch reticule following style see what they were actually seeing because with this shit you just have to guess if they actually snapped on or just turned quickly you have to guess if oh are they looking at that guy through the wall i don't know because you actually don't know what their screen looks like you just have to be like uh, uh. and this is this is what the fucking paragon people have to deal with like it's not it's not it's like it's not entirely the paragon re reporters like the people in charge of the reports fault right because this is what this is what they're given right they they have to deal with this kind of shitty third person mode that doesn't really you know like fuck is he is is his reticule here or here like what where where is he looking you you can't tell with this all right we we need some type of overwatch style csgo style thing if we're not going to have an anti cheat software and even if we are going to have an anti cheat software i understand anti cheat software is not always the best we should have this especially i i i i hope that they implement it soon the fact that there is a lot of hacking accusations going around. I don't know how much hacking there actually is. I've 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 only seen one that I've been like 100% sure on, which is this guy. Um, but there are a lot of hacking accusations, and I think it'd really help just to have a replay system where we can actually see what their screen looks like. They would see if they're actually snapping on, or just have good reaction times. They're just turning quickly, all right. So I really hope they do that. I really hope they put in some type of anti-cheat software. It's 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 an online PC competitive shooter MOBA on PC. Like they're gonna yeah, you're gonna have hackers. No matter what, you're gonna need some type of anti-cheat software. The fact they don't have any anti-cheat software in the game right now is a little bit ridiculous. But I, I it's open beta, but like I, it's been it's been competitive for 6 months. Maybe you need to start jumping that in. All right? And Lastly, so we have the no anti-cheat software. That needs to change. We have the no actual CSGO Overwatch style replay. That needs to change so we can, for multiple reasons, mainly for dealing with hackers, but also it, it helps for personal improvement, watching your own replays um, and other people's replays. And lastly, their, at the, their support team really needs to step up their game. Their support team doesn't... The, the people that deal with hacking accusations just don't seem to know much about hacking. They they think wall hacking is the ability to shoot through walls, not see through walls, right? Like this this is worrisome. But this is an easy fix. Luckily this is an easy fix. You just need to like get get some other people that actually play the game into this you know, like help, helping these people out, right? Like get, maybe help the get the co competitive QA team into some of these re replay watching for hacking accusation, right? Then like maybe these guys will know how to play their game and like what actually looks like hacking and what doesn't look like hacking and what wall hacking is 
that wall hacking isn't the ability to shoot through walls. But I, I hope those three things happen, hopefully sooner than later, because it would really suck to see a game as great as Paragon be completely ruined by online hackers. And it's very possible, just because there really isn't any... There's nothing in place right now to stop them. And with nothing in place to stop them, they're going to be there. And I, that, that's, that's really scary to me, because I really like this game, I want to keep playing this game. But if it's going to be rampant with hackers, it, it, it'll really ruin it for me and ruin it for a lot of other people. So, please Epic Games, please do something about this. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope people from Epic watched. Hope hope you can do something about this, guys. Uh, good luck. I know I know it's very hard to develop a game like this. It's the greatest creators this. Uh, thank you for doing it, but you really need to step this up. See ya.